Welcome to I See the Light. I'm Prophetess Regina. I am the light and I'm back with another one. God bless. God bless. <laughs> I hope this is reaching you all in good spirits and high vibrations and you're not letting anyone dim your light. Guess what I am? Free. I'm free. Just like the young lady that everybody's making this big deal about, she's free. At least she's free today. She might have not been a couple of days ago, but she's free today. Oh, but they're just to crucify her. They needed someone to crucify. I'm a little taken aback because of what I just seen on YouTube. You know I scroll. One always catches my eye, and I zoom in on it, and now when I zoom in, and I know it's the Holy Ghost wanting me to address a certain entity. So, I normally don't say anything when it's something pertaining to racism. I just look. Read the comments of the, the sleep people. I left a comment on this person because I hope they zoom in and they look at this video because I want to introduce myself to you. My name is Prophetess Regina and I don't like what you did. So on this video, I shared it on my FB because I want everybody to, you know, help, help him get what he's looking for, views. Let me tell you what this man did. He went to the scene of the crime and tracked the steps of this young lady all through the woods and through a tunnel underneath the drainage ditch that he said she took and, and came out on another side and he says he prob she probably caught a ride waiting on her on the other side. Why would she do all that at? And then he had the audacity to say this is her way she escaped as though she was a fugitive or a runaway slave. You better watch what you say and how you word it. And I wanna know what is your reason for all through them woods like that? The police aren't even down there looking like that. Hmm, I wonder why. But your stupidity is. You guys, guess what he's doing on the video talking about I'm looking for signs of Cheez-Its Maybe I can find the black robe and the toilet paper. I'm going to tell you where the black robe is here with me. And I know why they decided it was going to be a black robe and some toilet paper because they know I don't like porta potties. And they know that the black robe represents the prophet. So I hope this guy zooms into my videos so you can change your stupid regret, your stupid. Ooh, I'm so mad. Your stupid ways. This is what I'm talking about, Heavenly Father. Oh, there's so many of them. They're so ignorant, Lord. If you don't know what a prophet is, I think you better go look it up. Because you just met one. And I'm a bad man jammer. Now I said yesterday, leave her alone. What I don't understand is why they're making such a mockery of this young lady. She's 25. She's a kid still. What if it was your child? This is called cyberbullying. Y'all are bullying this young lady. I don't like it. Like I said yesterday, I am aware of everything. I hope, Lord Jesus, let this asinine being, let this asinine being be able to stomach this whole video. I couldn't stomach yours because it was so stupid. So, I have, I have a correction about that amendment that I was talking about yesterday. What amendment was that? 
Um, it was the 19th Amendment that I was talking about. Um, it said when women were granted the right to vote. And I said, that was the 1920s. So um, then I said, well, we didn't really get the right to vote until like the 1960s when they kind of let us go. We still had to get beat, beat, beat down, sprayed with water hoses and everything just to have a right to vote like everyone else. Um, a lot of people died for the cause of just the, the right to vote, to be treated equally. And we got a hillbilly running through the woods looking for cheese. It's trying to prove a point. Let me continue on. She wasn't escaping anything. Uh, so I said 1990 because I was high on sugar yesterday. So I'm going to um, correct myself. I do apologize. I said 1990 when I meant 1960s is around the time when they finally kind of let us be able to go and do a couple of votes if we was free to go because we, you know, we're um not as important as they are. These people are going to have a damn field day with this situation here. Boy, that was all the... Oh, I'm surprised they didn't get on some horses like they used to and go trolloping through the woods looking for her. What was so funny about it is, um, y'all know when they go looking for people when they're missing and the cops come together, they were holding hands, then holding hands, walking like this together, looking, the, searching, searching the grounds. It was all fictitious. I want to jump right in. So also when um one of the, the doctors was explaining the, the 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 uh the information that was given to the cops by the young lady she said that she was she was abducted by a person a man that had orange hair and he was bald so the doctor made a big funny joke out of that and said oh, <laughs> who has orange hair gingers have orange hair redheads gingers uh, what was that one? Wasn't wasn't one of those guys in the Bible that was all hairy and he had red hair and uh, red hair all over his body and all that, and he was a bad guy. Well, that I think that was probably the first ginger, and he was the first murderer as well. If I don't, if I'm not not mistaken, y'all know how I am. I can't just say it was Isaiah's love of the sun. No, mm -mm. I'm regular smeggler, but I'll tell you one thing. The dude that did that video <laughs> challenged me. Challenge me. You want to report me? Report me. I have the right to my opinion just like your self, silly asinine self does. Okay. Um. I don't think they would have even made that big of a deal out of it if she was still missing. If she, was, she just would have been another black chick missing. But because she got away, <laughs> or whatever happened, so so it should be. It's a big deal, and now it's called. Let's figure it out, y'all. All in the woods, all in a tunnel. You really think that lady was high class? I don't think that lady was all out there. She had a BMW. I don't think she was all trucking it all down through there like she was trying to get to the underground railroad. Y'all to be ashamed of yourselves. And then the doctor had the nerve to say, she said he was bald. <laughs> what is she talking about, bald? And I'm and I'm while he's talking about it and trying to um pretty much uh belittle this lady, I'm looking at the bald spot on his head and how thin his hair is that I can see the background of whatever the damn wall uh, in between his hair because his hair was thinning so much. You was bald. This guy on this video got investigated on her, and you probably ain't nobody but a, uh, you probably work at, um, Piggly Wiggly in your town. If you don't go sit down somewhere.
okay, she's not my daughter, but she's my daughter because she's, she's more my people and I'm going to stick up for her. It's ridiculous. You know, people are so, um, insensitive to people. And your voice all high pitched, you probably get teased for that. I mean, what if I was on, uh, you know, I, I, I'm good at mocking somebody, my dang on self. If I, if I mock your little squeaky, squeaky uh, mouse voice. Let me go ahead. I went in. Because y'all thought I was done and I'm never going to be done because as long as my sweet Jesus tell me to do it, like I said, I'm not going to shut my mouth until God shuts it. You people can't shut it. I'm exposing all you demons for who y'all are. Okay. I have revelations here. I'm going to continue with 12. I finally figured out why I'm so gifted in this situation and why God has appointed me to do so. So I'm going to continue on with my proof of who I am and what I came to do. And that is to expose Satan and to, to cure people and have people repent for their wrongdoings. Revelations 12 and 7. Then there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon and his angels fought back. But the dragon was not strong enough and he and his angels lost their place in heaven. They're called fallen angels. You see, Satan, Satan wants everything. He wants all the attention. He wants all the, the, um, glory. He wants all the answers, but see, you're never going to get the answers. You keep trying. You keep trying. You can go all through some woods looking for cheeses and black robes. You know, maybe, maybe you might even find a piece of toilet paper with some poop on it since you was looking so hard. Let me continue on for my sweet Jesus. He is that old snake called the devil or Satan who tricks the whole world. The dragon with his angels was thrown down to earth. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have now come. The accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuse them day and night before our God has been thrown down and our brothers and sisters defeated him by the blood of the lambs, death, and by the message they preached. They did not love their lives so much that they were afraid of death. So rejoice. Because hmm. that's what I'm going to do. That's what my people do. We rejoice. Hallelujah! Praise the Most High, Almighty God. He loves everyone. He's not biased.
They did not love their lives <laughs> so much. They were afraid of death. Rejoice. You heavens and all who live there. But be troubled for the earth and the sea because the devil has come down to you. He is filled with anger because he knows he does not have much time. So uh, what the devil does is just do little funny little things like, this so what I figured out about a dragon it's, it's very very simple a dragon is a large serpent a serpent a reptile a snake I know for a fact that 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 um the devil here is here on earth and he walks the earth and he's here to devour the innocent. And the devil loves to mock God's chosen people. And he'll just put on a bunch of black makeup and put it on his face and and do a couple of tap dances and 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 um you know, act as such and much. I have, um, the United States Supreme Court frequently proclaims that guilt by association has no place in our constitutional system. It's up to the judge or the jury to determine guilt. And everybody seems to want to be judges but guess what? God appointed me a judge. I have the right to judge you because you've been judging. I hope. Mm -hmm. I hope, I hope, I hope that man's watching so I can help you change your ideals of the way things go, see? Get some get right. But where's your where's your um compassion? Prejudice. It's mighty funny that I I wrote my um message today before I even saw this video. I wasn't even heated until I seen this video, and I was like, oh my goodness! I was just kind of scrolled a couple of, just to see you saw my I'm going to take you through the tunnel where she went through the woods and down through the t you think you honestly think this woman did all of that and if she did what is it to you why do you what what why do you think you got to solve the mystery? Prejudice. It's um, not based on a reason or an actual experience. It's someone that's biased, prejudiced. They don't know nothing about how it feels to be mistreated because just because of your skin, but every other function it's the same on me that's on you. This is what you teach your children. That they are better than my children? Prejudice against people from a different background. Law. Law. 
harm or injury that results <coughs> or may result from some action or judgment. Example, sentence from Google when I was trying to make so much fun of me always looking up everything on Google. Y'all mad at me because I done found my sweet Jesus and he done found me and put me back on track so I can whoop y'all with these scriptures on my donkey. <laughs> Harm or injury that results or may result from some action of judgment. Example sentence. Um, prejudice resulting from delay in the institution of the proceedings. I have the definition of bias here. Unfairly prejudiced for or against someone or something. Example, we will not tolerate this biased media coverage. Now, if, if I get in trouble for speaking my mind, this man that did this on that other channel on YouTube should be in trouble as well. Because he's got the right to his freedom of speech and I have the right to mine. I'm free. I was born free. I was born in a, in a country that's based on freedom. But used my people to build it. Held hostage. In bondage. In slavery. Then y'all going to come up with a situation where a young lady's in the woods with a black roll, some Cheez-Its, and some toilet paper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Example. We will not tolerate this bias media coverage um, cause to feel or show prejudice to sway to control or to influence uh, a crowd of people to, to uh, see things from their point of view which usually is not right how can you say you don't know you don't know and these people were thanking you for the information. Well, I declare thank you so much, Mr. Investigator. And then some people like, I just don't see that she would do that, all that. That's not necessary. No, it's not. It's asinine is what it is. You probably had on some big old cowboy boots walking through there. And she might have had on some heels. See any footprints through there? In torn garments. Did y'all know that color means this? Um, color is color, right? But this is they used to call us color people. But see, look, I found this today, and I I was I was taken aback because I never hey I just always been a little black girl. You know, I grew up to be a black woman and always been mistreated just because of the color of my skin. But see, God, God came and got me. I'm an angel, an earth angel, and I'm so very thankful I am. And I'm so very thankful I get opportunity to, to, to rebuke people with such stupid ways. I'm so honored to do so. The definition of color is influence, especially in a negative way, to distort. Example, the experience had colored her whole existence. It's one-sided. So I was like, whoa, so they used to always color colored people to put us down still. Because they knew that the definition of this was negative. With like they think we're negative influences, but they need us for everything. They needed us to build their houses, 
to show them how to do math, to show them how to to um to to form and everything. They used us for everything. And now all about they can use us for is entertainment to make money off of us in industries because we're so good at everything. And I guess we're so good at everything that this young lady has um, stalked the, the police uh, station and all the detectives of Alabama. But we got a guy that's not even an investigator that done figured out what the police cannot figure out, you see. Okay, so um, that is my message today. I'm not too happy to uh, uh, can I, uh, say I'm proud to say I'm an American. When people like this live here, why would I be proud to say I'm an American? Maybe she was trying to find the Underground Railroad out of here. Uh, if she, hey, did she find it? Evidently she did not. And if she goes back and tries again and finds it, hey, look me up, cause I want to go too. Be out of here. Heavenly Father, I'm ready to come home. These people down here are cuckoo. Anybody can go get a hat and put some words on it and say that it's somebody special and they're not. What is the energy surrounding today, Heavenly Father? I hope you're watching. Hmm, I hope this pulls your energy out, idiot. You better discipline yourself. That's what God said. I said too. You know what's going to happen? You're going to have a couple of restless nights. My face is going to appear in your dreams. And you're going to be running through the woods. Trying to escape me. talking about this was her way of escape like she was running uh like she was a uh a runaway slave or something this is in love in memory of your ego mama the god i'll teach you a lesson today you're being nice You didn't know they existed, did you? That's because your folks kept it, a, kept it a secret. They didn't even want you to know that angels do exist. And I'm one of them. Harriet Tudman. She was the one that was the mastermind of the runaway slaves. Yeehaw! Her energy's in here. Speak, Harry Tubman. It says, you'll be free or die. Lord, if if this is freedom, I'm ready to go meet my, my heavenly father and go back home to my castle in the sky where the devils aren't at. What else, spirit? be in your dreams when it's obvious that a person has very selfish ways and you feel sorry for them they're ego driven see I I, I, I left a message I left a comment I said well what's your reason for doing all of this I said oh views you're selfish God sees you better straighten up your act. All of you! V. 
viciousness. You don't even know it's embedded in you. I'm here to tell you it is. Viciousness, deliberately cruel and violent. That's, that's your people's ways. That's, that's how your people act. This is the truth. I have 1 Peter 5 and 8. It says, lions roar to put fear and intimidate their prey. The lion and the devil does with silverware. Be sober-minded and um, be serious and sensible. Mm -hmm. A double-minded person is unstable in all his ways. Jesus is referred to as the Lion of Judah. Mm -hmm. um, he trumpeted over temptation and sin, over pain and suffering, over fear, death, and death, and Satan. See, I don't, I don't fear no evil. I only fear my Heavenly Father, and I love my majesty, and I do His work. So watch yourself, Randy. I care much about you. I might even care about Randy. Maybe enough to scold you, to rebuke you, so that you get on the right track. Which is, you know, being loving, caring, and obedient to God. Believe that God can do it. He could convert all your evil little souls. If y'all go and repent and really mean it and stop thinking that y'all are better than everybody else. But see, if you don't, I mean, it's just going to have to meet, meet, you know, meet the maker. The maker's going to U-turn you around, sit you on a hot bench, send, send you on, on that midnight train to hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're going to be a runaway slave. You're gonna be running in the woods the rest of your uh, 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 in your um in the next round. Yeah, it can happen to you. See, cause you had no business doing what you did. See, everybody's gonna have their own individual little hell pocket. They gotta be in. They ain't gonna be able to get out of it. What you wish on other people will happen to you. What you wish on other people will happen to you. Be alert. Be alert. Be very alert. No black magic zone. No black magic zone. So don't even try it. See, I know all about tricks say no about their um uh, their little tricky ways. You see, you, you banjo in the, in the woods, you probably don't even know all that's going on. Or oh, somebody told you to go out there and put on that good old performance. Um, please the masses. You're a slave within your own slave, slave mentality. Your hickety dickety dock self is going to be going right to hell. You need to go back to school and get a degree. Yeah, it, God said you, you ain't smart at all. You need to go back to school and get you a degree. What else, Spirit? You took control of the situation. I'm going to take control of the situation. I'm always going to take control of the situation. That's what I'm here for. Zoom in on evil. And put them in check.
scorn belief that someone or something is worthless and despicable. Low energy. Mm, that's you. That's you. You know what this really gets me is that people, people, um, they idolize certain people that don't deserve to be idolized at all. Idolizing is, is not of God. See? Because if they idolize you and look for you, look to you for guidance, they sure are on a one-way um, ticket uh, or a flight or donkey to hell. Even a donkey don't want you riding it. Feeling bad on how they treated you. You better, you better feel bad on it. You're going to feel bad before it's over. Y your wife's going to be asking, what's wrong, with Randy? You, you're going to be too embarrassed to say it. We're going to apply the keys to happiness to our lives. Babe, we're going to turn off the light and light a candle. I didn't get to say that I love Bay today. I love Bay. God bless you, Bay. And before I leave, let me go ahead and say a prayer for us today. I wrote one down. Um, where did I write it? No, we'll just pull one today out of the prayer book. Oh, well, I opened to heaven's courts. So, Mr. Whoever you were, I'm going to call judgment on you at this time. And I'm just so sorry because I just really didn't like what I saw. And I know it was just, you know, you're just doing it for show and everything. But, you know, sometimes people just step out of bounds and they be putting their nose in stuff that don't have nothing. And no way. You, you shouldn't even been there. Um, I, I was a police officer and I saw it. I think I would, I'd give you a call and tell you something. Let's go ahead and say this prayer. I ask you to respect the Lord at this time. I want to go ahead and say a prayer and um, get on off of here because Randy done made, Mr. Banjo, Randy in the woods that made me mad. Uh-huh. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're asking today, we're praying today for footing, for our footing, for my people. Set me up on a rock, Lord. Set us all up on a rock safe, Lord. Give us our footing. My foot standeth in an even place. Yes, Jesus, it does, and we thank you. Thou hast enlarge my steps lord jesus enlarge our steps at this time protect us from evil and asinine people dear heavenly father so that my feet did not slip and have put us all all things we put all things under our feet things that are not of good for us all bad energy we step on it we crush it in the name of jesus we thank you we ask you to be the head of all things in our life for we are um with you and we work with you for the better of all mankind and not just a few. We know that you are the cure. We know that you love us all equally. We know that you put no, no emphasis on one particular race. And we know that is just the work of the devil. 
At this time in our journey, I ask you please to continue to keep us on the right path for um, our righteousness so that we may follow your instructions and not be detoured or delayed or persuaded by the devil. I pray that we continue to be protected, guarded, and strong. I pray that we continue to stay together and form a solid, strong union and defeat the devil in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Oh, shame on you. All of you. I feel so. What is the word I'm looking for, Lord? It's like my feelings today. I look at you. The world is so screwed up, dear Heavenly Father trying hard I got some people on my team but when I look at the idiotic idiots of this world Lord Jesus you makes me want to like I don't want to put the hammer down on them like that to the point where um you know a tornado or something comes in and tears your, your town um uh, I if I had that kind of power, God, don't give it to me because I'm like, I don't want to do it, but I kind of do sometimes because some people are so ignorant. Ignorant. Idiots. Anyway, I feel like I'm not done. I don't want to leave because of. Babe. I'm sorry, babe. You know how I get. My heart is so big. But I see some people's hearts are so shriveled up and dry. It All it's got left is a couple of beats. More energy. Lord said so. More energy. One more for the road. Mm, you know. What God gives, nobody can take it away, not even Satan. And God gave us all freedom. But see, Satan has tricked us up. I got more. It's some click and click ons. We know who that is. That's the clicks that Satan, secret societies, you know, privileges. We're blessed by the divine and we're highly favored. Yeah, that's that seven. Seven, 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 and more sevens. Uh-huh. The battle is already won. You are free. Believe it. And what else? Be happy. It's your choice. Don't let them take it from you. They're trying to make us, mock us again, y'all. They're really trying. It says the truth and balance. Um... We, we're finding the truth in our balance. The balance, truth brings us balance. It says, judge not unless you want to be judged. Mm -hmm. And it says, believe that. See, um, you all up in the woods judging somebody. Look, um, that lady is a real person. Got a real heart and real feelings. While y'all trying to just, what are y'all trying to do? Make her, knock herself off? And it says, act like you know in 82, meaning, come on, you know better than that. You're a grown man. You know better than that. And it says, so kind, you're open to, um, so kind, you're open for, too open for Satan. Oh, I'm so kind. Yeah, that's true. I'm so kind. I'm too open for Satan. I'm like the nicest person you ever want to meet. But when our beast come out, and the beast didn't even really come out, I'm just a little upset. Yeah, I'm a little upset by what I see. And I told you Heaven's Courts was coming for you. Yeah, yeah. And I don't be playing around. So judgment on you for that right there. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can do that. Um, you can go, I got, I got 400 and some videos and my tooting my horn, but you can go back and re, maybe look at all of them and you're going to figure out who you really, who really, you know, ticked off today. Yeah. Um, I, I can come to your dreams and you won't even, even if you don't even watch this video, I can come to your dreams and give you some nightmares and have you running through the woods. Like you, um, you back in Mississippi burning. Yeah. That's what I can do. <laughs> That's what I can do. I think I might just do that tonight, Lord. Give this man a lesson. A lesson of a lifetime. Yeah, look. Life lessons um, become what? Blessings. I can bless you. I might bless you to change your ways. Yeah. Wrong, you're wrong. I rebuke you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I call judgment upon you, heaven's courts. Lord, did you see? Did you see all this sh his shenanigans? Who else? Who wants some? Who wants some? It's so many of y'all. Y'all, like I said, y'all standing in line to get rebuked. Who's next? Love you, bae. God bless. One.